Yes. So, okay. so we're here at the Toradex, and hi. Hi. So who are you? I'm Brandon Shibley from Toradex, and uh, I'm an FAE. And I'm going to show you uh, our upcoming module, the Calibri IMX7, featuring the yet-to-be-released Freescale iDOT MX7 SOC. So this is IMX7, this is new Freescale coming out. What, what's uh, kind of cores inside? So this particular one, it's the dual, so it has a um, dual core, Cortex-A7, with a uh, Cortex-M4. So dual A7 with the M4, so it's uh, it's an upgrade from the iMX6 Solo X, right? It's yes, different. Uh, this will yeah. be the next generation I'm using a Solo Cortex X A7 the... versus the Cortex single core Cortex A9 in the um, IMX6 Solo X. And that's uh, even more performance, the right kind of performance and power consumption, everything. Yeah, so the Cortex A7 is a little more power efficient. It's going to be, um, and in this case, it's available in both solo and dual core. Uh, and of course it has a Cortex M4 also on the same chip. So we find that there's going to be some very exciting applications that our customers um, use and um, can use this for. Cool, and what kind of other cool stuff are you showing here? So we're also showing Windows 10 IoT. Windows 10, hi. Yeah, hi, so uh, today my name is Daniel, I work for Toradex 2 in Seattle. And uh, today we show off the first time uh, in the public uh, Windows 10 on our uh, R module, so that's uh, NVIDIA Tegra 3, and we run here a face detection uh, video. And this I'm, is Windows 10. This is Windows what 10. Kind of Windows oh, no, 10 are we looking at? Uh, exactly. So we have to be can specific. I click on it? Uh, you, you can click on it. Actually, that will end the program. <laughs> you okay. can stop it, but uh, I mean, there is a mouse. I can uh, show you uh, more later, but. To be specific, it's Windows 10 IoT Core, so it's the smallest version uh, from Windows, and you can already get it, you can download it now and use it on a Raspberry Pi or on a Dragon Board, and, that's, uh, and we really show it on a module which you can use for uh, an embedded product. So Raspberry Pi is very fun, you can play around, but with us you can actually do a, a product and then go into uh, high volumes. So, uh, um, IoT version of uh, Windows 10, what's the function in IoT version of Windows 10? Uh, what's, what's possible? Uh, what's possible is uh, you have a smaller uh, memory footprint, so you can get it down to this module, but it has the universal uh, Windows platform, so you can write one application, run it on these small uh, devices, but you can also run it on a PC, you can run it on a tablet, you can run it on a phone, you can even maybe run it on an Xbox. So there's one platform and you can deploy everywhere. All the Windows tool like Visual Studio and everything, uh, it works. This is like the Metro apps, right? Or what it's, kind of apps is it? Yeah, it's the, they call it not Metro, they call it now a universal Windows platform, UWP applications. It's but not yeah, an x86x file. No, no, no it's uh, yeah, it's it's really ARM. I mean, it's ARM binaries. You can use .NET, and we have .NET native. So instead of having the intermediate code, you can really compile a native ARM code. So for for example, we have the same the same app you see here. It's a one to one uh, here here on my phone, and if I have it enough, that it it detects it. So you can have it on a phone or on a module or on an x86. So it makes it very easy uh, to move stuff around. Which uh, this is NVIDIA 3 you said? Yeah, this is a NVIDIA uh, Tegra 3. I have one of our uh, uh, modules there. So Toradex, you are a specialist with uh, NVIDIA, Freescale? Uh, yeah, we have some older modules from Marvel, uh, but at the moment it's really NVIDIA and Freescale. And then we have a big ecosystem with our partners from Qt. Uh, we work with Microsoft, uh, we do a lot of Linux stuff. Uh, we still have a lot of Windows CE, where we also very uh, specialized. For example, we can boot Windows CE in less than half a second. Uh, we can also boot Linux uh, pretty fast, around two seconds. Uh, and yeah. everything you sell is $24? Uh, no, that's our uh, lowest end module. It's a, a 10K price and it's for the Freescale Vibrate. Uh, that's a Cortex A5 with a Cortex M4. Actually, that for $24 only has the A5. All right. Cool, so uh, yeah. uh, lots of stuff happening. What is over here? Uh, here we show a cute demo with our uh, Vibrid uh, VF61. So that's a heterogeneous multi core, an A5 and uh, M4 and uh, runs Qt and actually sp special on that is normally Qt 5 and higher needs uh, OpenGL and here we can make it run without OpenGL because this model doesn't have OpenGL and you, you can see I mean it's this very low cost model but um, you have uh, nice uh, animations here.
Nice. And uh, it says uh, from Seattle, Washington. So you have office in Switzerland and Seattle? Exactly. Or? Headquarters are in Switzerland. That's my funny, funny accent. It's from there. Uh, but here in the US, we are in Seattle. We ship from Seattle. We have support in Seattle. Uh, but we also have offices in China, uh, Japan, India, Vietnam, Brazil. So. so how's the business going? There's more and more projects happening? Uh, yeah, there is more and more going. There are new exciting products coming out. Uh, here you see uh, some stuff, the, some of our models, and they're all pink compatible. So that's very special about Toradex. You're very committed to do pink compatible. So you can use NVIDIA's or Freescale or different Freescales, and they all work uh, in the same carrier board. And which one is that? Uh, that's uh, IMX6. Uh, running in our little bit bigger uh, form factor, uh, like that, especially that module uh, running there under the heatsink. And uh, yeah, that's from our partners, Qt. So that's a, Qt is very popular to use with our uh, models. So you're able to customize and develop stuff for people? Uh, we actually, we're really focusing on the models and then our customer and our partners, they design the carrier board. So we, we say we focus on the model, we do the operating system and then everything around, we have an ecosystem uh, to help you with that. Or you can use one of our standard carrier board and it's full open hardware. So you can now go to our website now, you don't even need to buy something and you can download the full Altium design files and modify it for you. But you can help them develop the carrier yeah, board? Yeah, we definitely we help them, we do schematic reviews, we have a developer website with over 800 articles, we just the next few days we will uh, put up a forum. Uh, so yeah, we, we definitely help you and get, because if you're not successful, we will cannot buy, uh, sell you these models in volume, so we're very committed to help you.